What's good, everybody? My name is Benji. I'm a DP from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And today we're going to be doing a breakdown of how I shot this music video on the zero dollar budget. So Miko's a good friend of mine from Florida. So whenever I'm there or he's here, we always try to shoot something. And fun fact, I actually shot one of my first music videos for him in 2021. No care. Anyway, here's a clip of the video we just shot. Show me the love from where I am. You told me to trust from where I am. Look at things so different than I did before. Not gonna lie, we waited till the day he was supposed to fly out to shoot this. I listened to a couple songs that he sent me, and most of them was pretty upbeat, except for this one. And I figured that between time and no budget to crew, it'd be better if we did something more simple. He made gospel music, and when I heard this song, I just imagined him sitting alone in a room playing to the Lord. So I took that concept and we just played off that. Just kind of him having an intimate time alone singing. Gear-wise, we used my old reliable A7S III and two lenses, the 3518 and 8518. And I used a half glimmer glass as diffusion to soften it off a little bit but still keep it pretty sharp and I shot this at 12,800 ISO with a couple stops of ND so we shot this at the homie Kobe house and this is just his living room so first thing I did after I found my frame was just move a couple things around so the composition was better and to my eye this was just the most interesting part of the room so that's why I shot at it so lighting wise the first thing I did was put a dimmable bulb in this lamp as a practical and this gave me motivation for my key light which was an Amaran 200X with a softbox and a grid on it and I set it to 3200 Kelvin to match the practical. And I had it turn out pretty low because when he got up to get the guitar, it got real hot on him. And it's kind of bogus, but whatever. And then I found a big gray blanket and used that as neg. And I just clamped that to a boom camera right. This really was just to black out most of the window light that was spilling in. And you can still see some of it on his feet. But I really didn't mind it because I wanted it to have that orange and blue look. And then the last thing I did was get another 200X and shoot that into the ceiling. And this was mainly because it was looking pretty dark since I couldn't turn the key up that much. And the one thing I really don't like about this shot is this reflection on the wall. And this is coming from that 200X. And the angle we hit it at was really hard to get it off. And again, I did put an egg crate on this light to try to knock it down some. And I might have been able to knock it down more with a flag, but I just didn't have nothing in my kit I could use. But again, it's a no budget vid, so it's not going to be perfect. So after that, I trucked in to do this medium close up of him. And the first thing I did was walk the neg and the key in. But the key was pretty harsh on him, so what I did is I got a boom arm and then I hung a shower curtain on it. Hey, it's ghetto, but it works, I'm telling you. So the curtain helped diffuse the light quite a bit, and that's what's getting you this nice roll off on his face. And then I got the ambient 200X and turned it to 6000 Kelvin, and that's what's giving you this nice blue ambient. And I know the whole orange and teal look is pretty overused, but I think when it's done tastefully, it's still nice. The Batman, for example. Whew. Yeah, I think this is my favorite shot of the whole video. To me, the lighting and composition just work. Then I threw on the 85 and got this close-up of him. And to me, this shot feels the most intimate out of the whole video. So because of that, I knew I was going to stay on this shot most of the edit. So I made sure and tried to get a bunch of coverage of this, so I had plenty to cut to. And I kept the lighting pretty much the same. All I did was walk that diffusion and also the neg in. Yeah, to me, this is a beautiful shot, and it really feels intimate. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the shoot. I'll throw a lighting diagram on screen just so y'all can see. Yeah, I chopped this up in a day or two, and right as I started to color, a colors reached out to me on Instagram. And he said he loves my work and wants to collab with me. So I hit him back and explained the situation. It was a one-location music vid under two minutes, and I told him I really would love to have him color it, but there was no budget. But it was kind of one of those things where I was like, I really love your work, you love mine. We can work together in the future, so... And thank God he was open to it, because it really elevated the look of the video. And I told him it was no rush on it. Miko ain't want to drop the video for like a month. So we had plenty of time to work on it. Then I sent him some stills from Shot Deck and gave him a verbal explanation of what I wanted the video to look like. And after a couple revisions, we got to a place where we was both really happy with it. Anyway, he's a real cool dude and a super talented colorist. So y'all show him some love. I'm going to put his Instagram in the description. My main takeaway from this project was to know your limits and play to your strengths. What I mean by this is always do the most you can with the cards you was dealt. But at the same time, think through your plans and the outcome of it so you don't end up with an overambitious project that turns out to be mediocre. 
And I don't say that to discourage anybody from taking on ambitious projects. If you watched my last video, you know we pulled off a pretty ambitious project for only two bands. It was a risk for sure, but a calculated one. I did my research and found good locations and hired a good art director who would cover any gaps. But if I tried to do something like that for this video, it probably wouldn't have worked out. I mean, it might have, but it would have been a dumb risk and not a calculated one. And hey, sometimes those dumb risks turn out great. I just always try to make it as easy on myself as I can to make it look good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this is probably going to be a shorter video, but it was a much simpler project, so there wasn't that much to go over. I hope y'all enjoyed this and got something out of it. I hope it's a good reminder that even if you got no budget, you can still make something you're proud of. And I know technically it's not no budget since I still had to pay for the gear, but good investments on gear is always going to come back tenfold. I do want to say thank y'all for all the support. I truly appreciate every comment and like. And stay tapped in. I'm shooting a pretty large scale spec commercial towards the end of this month. And I got some folks coming out to do BTS for me. So it'll be a whole video on that soon. I appreciate y'all watching. I still don't got an outro. So 